Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Aquarius, for the first half of November 2023. Here we are at the end of the year. I can't believe it, Aquarius. Hope you all are doing well. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Aquarius. Anywhere in your chart, really, or if you're just checking in on an Aquarius, all are welcome here. It just might not resonate with everyone. But welcome, welcome, Aquarius. Ooh, you are good enough is the moon oracle card. Full moon in Virgo. Oh, this is about your confidence. Confidence stepping up. And you're very close to achieving your goal. Wow, look at this, Aquarius. Very close to achieving your goal. You can see it. It's in sight. It's right there. Right there. Love that. What kind of animal spirit guide is up in the ether for the sign of Aquarius? Oh my God, the butterfly. Wow, transformation. Bursting out of that cocoon and into something. Really bursting into something here with confidence, with uh, security. You can see it. It's right here. Love this. And the cosmic egg on the bottom of the deck. Wow. Wow, really cleansing out those chakras, really coming into a clearing here. There's some kind of massive clearing happening. Look at these two snakes. Unrealized magical potential, though. Wow, some kind of magic showing up for you. Some kind of miracle coming in for you. I love that. I love that. Beautiful. Beautiful. What kind of Zentero? What kind of Zentero card is up in the ether for the sign of Aquarius? Spirit, tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Oh my God, the tower, the thunderbolts. This is happening out of nowhere. Bam, this miracle comes in. <laughs> yes, I love this. Everything is absolutely about to change for you. Change, this is all about change. And experiencing, look at this, the three of wands coming into the picture here. Moving into some kind of experience, feeling all fired up, feeling excited about something here. Wow, it's like a, a jolt to the system, some kind of jolt, some kind of wake up call coming in, some kind of miracle. It releases, it releases all of this pent up uh, stuff in the basement for you, Aquarius. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You're just soaring, you're flying out of there. I'm done. I'm transformed. I see it now. I'm onto this new, this newness here. What are you thinking about right now? What's on Aquarius's mind? Spirit, tell me about Aquarius. What is Aquarius thinking about right now? What is on your mind? What do you want to talk about? Page of Wands. Again, a new adventure, a new start, going in a different direction. Some kind of change, some kind of transformation. You're being led away. You're being led out of somewhere. It's the exit sign has been seen. You see the clearing. You see the way here. Beautiful, beautiful. What's lighting up this way for Aquarius? What is lighting that up? The King of Swords. There you are. Look at this. The big plan coming into uh, the tangible now. You've got the plan. You've got the idea. You've got the vision now. Wow, wow. Really stepping up, being in control here, getting the reins back, holding on to the reins and making very wise decisions. Hopes and fears in the mind space for Aquarius. Hopes and fears. A magician. My God. This is brand new. This is a brand new journey. What we think about comes about. I'm going to change my thoughts here. I'm going to change my life. Wow. Going in a different direction. I am not following the status quo any longer. I'm not just going to keep doing the same thing I've been doing and expect different results here. I'm going to change it up. Wow. Wow, going for something completely different here. Something new lighting up. Some kind of new plan has come into play here. Future thought. Future thought for Aquarius. Immediate future. Immediate future in the mind space. Spirit, tell me about the mind space of Aquarius in the future. Nine of Wands. Look at this. You've been beat up. You've been put on guard here. You've been pushed. You got your back up against the wall or you had your back up against the wall until this new plan book, this new playbook showed up. A new playbook showed up and it's just, I'm not playing by their rules anymore. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to continue to keep doing what I'm doing uh, just to stand with my back against the wall, to always be in the same place, to always be uh, against the same uh, standards, against the same um, argument here. Done. 
done walking away from that. I'm just, I'm just picking up my back off that wall and walking away. I got something new to do. I got something new to see here. There's a shiny newness here. Spirit, what's that all about? What's that all about? The three of pentacles. There's that plan and the three of swords. Oh my God. Aquarius. Look at these threes. The number three is probably significant to you. But yeah, yeah, from the three of swords to the three of pentacles, this new collaboration, this new working together here after a very painful time, after a very painful period, was like three of you split up and now three of you are coming together. It's really interesting. But uh, yeah, it was very painful. Jeez, jeez, Aquarius. My God, you had to really defend yourself. You had to stand up for yourself. You had to fight. You had to fight for this. It didn't come easy for you. It did not come easy, this new beginning, this new way of doing things. Ow, God, you felt very, very much uh, attacked. And now you're collaborating. Now you're coming together with new ideas, with new visions, with new dreams. That period is over. It's done with that thunderbolt up in the ether there. It's over. You don't have to look back. You're off against that uh, wall here. You're, you're, the pressure is off. That's what I'm getting to here. Pressure is off. How are you feeling right now? How is Aquarius feeling right now? Nine of Wands going on a new adventure, looking out for, looking through the, the trees here for something new. It's just like you're coming from this very heavy, heavy place. You're coming from this very hard, uh, um, very hard journey here where things were coming out. Things were coming up against you. You were very much feeling attacked, feeling uh, very much forsaken here. Just, uh, one thing after another, just one thing after another, lesson after lesson after lesson. I'm done learning, spirit. Just uh, leave me alone. <laughs> you felt very picked on. <laughs> wow, Aquarius, that's so beautiful, so beautiful, because you just endured, you just really persevered and uh, were persistent, <clears throat> excuse me, with your fire here, with your wantings, with your wantings, with knowing it could be a different way, with knowing it could be a different journey. And you took it. Hard left. Hard left for Aquarius. I love that. I love that. What led up to that? Ooh, look at this partnership and Six of Swords. Moving on. Moving on from it. Really letting it go. Not looking back uh, just to see where you've come from here. So you're looking forward to see how far you've come now to really uh, start collaborating. Start getting these connections back together. Start firing it up again. Aquarius, you're firing it up again. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> only I'm going to go for something different here. I'm going to change things up and coming into a connection. There's a beautiful partnership here, a beautiful understanding of each other, a working together, a, a, a listening to each other, a validation here. You've been validated here. And that's just really, really beautiful. It really got you through some things. It got you through some hard times here during those attacks when you needed it, when you felt very vulnerable, very raw and open here, some open wounds here. Somebody comes in and and really starts helping to mend that up, to sew you back up again, and, and to tell you they're here. I love that. I love that. They give you that confidence back. They give you that uh, uh, beautiful feeling of being um, really uh, accepted. Oh, I love that. I love that. Future feeling for Aquarius. Four of Pentacles, look at you. have been in the waiting room for a very long time, fighting for what you wanted. It's like you were on trial. You were absolutely on trial, being questioned, being um, instigated here, just being uh, triggered and uh, uh, questioned very, very much interrogation time uh, in, the, in your past. The cycle is over. Now people are really listening to you to understand you, not to just reply to you. There was just almost a uh, wanting you to say the wrong thing or wanting you to trip up or uh, testing. There was a, a period of testing here, but that is over. It's over. There's a brand new day here. It's like you got to follow that moon out, follow that a spiritual spiritual journey out now because the practical the the law the law got in your way it just seemed so unfair seemed very very much unbalanced and um, now you are the law you're making your own rules you're making your own uh, decisions here without having someone just push that button on you and say uh, uh, you failed it just wasn't their button it wasn't theirs to have and you took it back took it back took back your own button here. I love that. I love that. Spirit, what's your advice? What's your advice for Aquarius in the heart space? Queen of Wands. Look at this. I love this. Stepping up to claim your uh, riches here, to claim your journey here, to claim your life without somebody having control over that say-so, over who you are and what you, and what you need to do here. So yeah, I love that. Really, really becoming the Queen of Wands energy with this fire, this 
this uh, action now with this doing now and not not so suppressed, not so uh, uh, interrogated. Wow. It's like the jury's uh, uh, back and the verdict has been made and you're free. You're free of something here, free of that restriction for sure. What's this all about? What's in the foundation for Aquarius spirit? What is this all about? Justice. There it is. You had some kind of trial, some kind of trial going on, Aquarius, and it is over. Justice has been served. The, the law stepped up, finally working in your favor, something absolutely working in your favor now instead of um, against you, instead of feeling like, boy, this is really, uh, uh, you know, you started almost feeling paranoid. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is justice law. This is spiritual law coming in and saying enough, enough. And just really opening up this new path for you. It's just, I can't focus on that anymore. I'm just so done focusing on that. It's time to move on. It's time to move into the next chapter here, into the next phase. But yeah, it's been determined. Something's been determined. It's been a case. It's a it's matter solved. Matter solved. Settled. I hear the, the gravel. Uh, the done. Done. It's solved. It's done. It's over. <laughs> Aquarius, you're free. You're free. <laughs> Look at this with the sun. God, do I love this. You are free. You are absolutely free from a very trying time. And I mean that. You've been tested. You've been tried here. You've been found wanting of someone on your side here. And that is over. That period is over. It's done. A decision made. It's, it's just the judge has signed on the line there and you're, you're free of it. You're free of it. Ace of Swords. Look at this. A brand new truth coming in. A brand new victory coming in. A new partnership coming in. Something very, very new and uh, just not what you've experienced in the past. This is different. This is passion. This is uh, coming together. This is not fighting each other. This uh, fight is over. It's done. The battle is done. The war is over. Uh, you are celebrating the peace now, celebrating this new connection now. And celebrating the way you think about things now. God, Aquarius, this is glorious, glorious. You are just really standing in your true freedom now. It's really, really glorious. Future, future foundation for Aquarius. <clears throat> Page of Cups. Look at this. Revelation, revelation in the heart space. Turning that easel around. Sharing it with someone. Showing someone your rawness. Showing someone your vulnerability here. Beautiful, beautiful, because then that person can really help soothe. It's been tough. It's been tough. You've been under the spotlight. You've just been feeling like you're a fish in a fishbowl here, and the whole world could see you. The whole, the whole universe was uh, uh, observing, and it's just done. It's over. It's like I get my privacy back. I get my, my sanity back. Yes. God, do I love that. But you're about to reveal something. You're about to reveal something in your heart. To someone else what's that all about what's that all about spirit tell me about that tell me about the page of cups for aquarius tell me about that oh my god it's very beautiful with the ten of pentacles and the four of wands a new commitment a new uh relationship a new beginning in love here oh aquarius I love, love, love this. Someone making you feel very worthy, not attacked, not judged. No, 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 no more judging. It's over. It's done. And this is a brand new commitment. And, and you're going all in. You're going all in. You're trusting again. You're honoring yourself first. And then you're allowing this collaboration, this, this union, this merging of energies here. It's so beautiful. Whew, it lifts your heart up. It makes you so happy with the sun energy coming in, with this Leo energy coming in that all is well. Yes, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since you've been able to sit back and say thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you. Look at this with the devil on the bottom of the deck. My God, have you been tempted? You've been tried. You've been really, really tested here. This was a spiritual test. This was a massive test spiritual test to uh, see how you could survive this, to see how you could thrive after a real struggle period, after a real being uh, uh, put under the microscope, a real questioning of your, of who you are here, a real exposing. 
and it removed all the fear of people finding out of people uh, knowing who you are here because it was happened it happened it was it was it was criticized it was judged you were judged absolutely but then here comes the karmic justice here comes the the reward after that long struggle after the uh, uh, battling there for sure let's see what that's all about I want to see what caused Aquarius to really get a grip on this to really take control and um, start making their own rules here what what caused that what kind of energy came in for Aquarius Ooh, look at this a very fast incoming message so that verdict it came in it came in after a very long time it's like you waited for years to have the settlement happen and then all of a sudden it happened it's just like phone calls were being made negotiations were happening and bam you had it you had it you had the settlement you were done you were done you could free you were free you could move on you could jump on that motorcycle and just get out of there just get into the next chapter here there was a brand new chapter waiting a brand new relationship waiting in the wings here for you to get out of there for you to get out of that that uh, energetic courtroom yeah you've been in there for a while and it's just like they were taking everything they were taking your money they were taking your soul they were taking your uh, dreams it's just like i want my hopes and dreams back from you <laughs> it's done it's over it's it's complete the decision has been made you're really really moving into this next chapter into this next collab new collaboration happening with you aquarius and it's beautiful it's beautiful it's uh, you can trust this again you can trust again it's really quite beautiful seven of con uh, seven of contracts seven of swords there was a broken contract in this past somebody did not keep their word somebody absolutely broke their contract broke their promise to you, broke their something there. There was a, a snapping in the commitment there, a, a breaking of the contract there. Somebody didn't hold up their end of the bargain and yet put you through the ringer. You put you through the ringer here. So, wow, wow. But it sure did push you into feeling differently about your life and to feeling differently about what's important to you and to really coming into understanding about how a relationship should be. You absolutely saw how a relationship should not be. And now you're moving into this understanding of this is the way it should be. This is the way it should be. You're coming together with someone here and really, um, yeah, in your mind, in your soul, in your heart, you're just like, yeah, this is the way it should have been all along. But you wouldn't be feeling this if you hadn't felt that pain of that broken contract. How would, how would you really understand what a true commitment is, what a true fulfilling commitment is? you wouldn't so beautiful 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 tell me about this collaboration and the devil here what's this fear about coming together six of cups you've been in a soulmate energy you you grew up at least emotionally with someone you you thought you knew who someone was you you really thought you knew and your illusions uh, they were shattered they were shattered and that really broke your heart uh, really made you go into questioning mode you started second guessing yourself and your own decisions because if you didn't see that coming uh, maybe you shouldn't trust yourself and the universe is coming in to tell you it's time to trust yourself again It's time to trust yourself. That was all for purpose. It was all for purpose It was one of those soulmate contracts that pushed you right into the confidence right into the worthiness That you needed to be pushed into and this is a whole new world for you a whole new um, Understanding of what relationships are and they're not supposed to be toxic. They're not supposed to be codependent They're not supposed to be needy. You're not supposed to need each other to be happy here So you you're really understanding that and you don't need anyone to be happy any longer you you Absolutely understand this that it's always been up to me. This has always been an internal decision that um, I can be happy wherever I'm at and you really understood that it's, it's a beautiful beautiful revelation on your part real beautiful understanding of your worthiness coming in here i just love that i love that what's this new adventure this new brand new adventure that aquarius is moving into three of wands look at this it's all about the threes with you and the seven of cups boy sky's the limit now i'm not sure i'm not sure you got a lot of choices in front of you a lot of options in front of you it's like you've stepped out of prison uh, maybe you were in a relationship for a very long time that felt like a prison and now you stepped out and it's like, well, what do I want to be now? What do I want to do? You get this do-over. You get this um, second chance to choose differently, to choose, especially when it comes to relationships, to choose very, very wisely, You're very picky. You do not let a lot of people into your inner circle here. So you're just deciding, do, do I let this person in? You're not at this crucial like crossroads where you're thinking, oh my God, I better make a decision. They're going to find someone else. Gonna, it's not this need. Aquarius this is completely different this is you choosing to be with someone and someone choosing to be with you and going all in and not playing the mind games and not playing the uh, the pettiness game of who did what and who contributed what and uh, I did more 
<coughs> excuse me, very beautiful because all your options are open now. It's, it's sky's the limit. Sky's the limit because you're free. You are free. Look at these two sevens. Seven is a very sacred number, a very spiritual number about understandings, the spiritual understandings, the lessons learned. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's see what this courtroom feeling is. Why was Aquarius being so judged? What was that all about, spirit? Why is the four of pentacles here in the heart space? Ah, the lovers, there it is. I mean, that was it. This soulmate contract, this mirroring of each other, this torturing of each other, this uh, finding the faults, finding the bad, finding the negative, finding uh, the broken contracts, just, just bringing it up over and over again. That, that, that relationship got very, very toxic in the past. But it's done. It's over. You've severed. You've changed something up. And when we fundamentally change our ideas about things, what we think about comes about. You came into this realization. You changed the way you feel about your soulmate contracts. That, look, I have to come into alignment and then these contracts will work. I have to understand my role in this. I have to take responsibility for the way that I'm feeling. And then the contracts will work out. And then the relationships will work out and be easy and effortless. It's beautiful. This is very, very beautiful. You've broken a pattern. You've bo broken a, a toxic pattern that is really, really not easy to break. It's really not easy because you feel this pulling toward each other. You feel this, this connection toward each other. And that's because you were supposed to play out these lessons with each other. But it's over. It's done. It's time to move on. It, the verdict has been made. The, the gavel has been uh, pounded. It's done. Aquarius, it's time to move on. It's time to let go. Move into this new connection, this new light, this new... Um, it, and it could be, you know, what's really funny about this is it could be with that same, very same person who pushed you here, <coughs> but there has to be a separation time between the two of you. And that was during this trial. You really looked at things, really looked inside. And what can I change? I can't change the other. I can't change my circumstances so that I can be happy. I, I understand I have to be happy in order for my circumstances to change. Both come into this understanding. So how interesting is that? But it's time for a new relationship no matter what. It's time for a new you. It's time for a new them. It's time for a new newness here. A, a travel now. Travel is coming into this. Worthiness is coming into this. A knowing of who you are. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're just removing those conditions. It's just true unconditional love. True, true unconditional love. Removing the conditions. I don't expect you to change in order for me to be happy. <laughs> it releases you. Releases you from this prison. You don't have to change. <laughs> you keep being you, but I'm going to go be me. And you're just taking a new path, hard left for you, absolute hard left for you. Let me see this beautiful justice and sun here in the foundation, this victory, this overness, this I'm done, I'm free, the, the energies have merged, we did it, we accomplished something, we're done. Celebration. What is that all about? What is that all about for Aquarius? Spirit, tell me what that's all about. Oh, it's time to rest. It has been a battle. And the three again. There's the three again. The three of pentacles, the working together, the collaboration, the uh, the understanding of who each other are now. I, I just really, really love this. But you're nesting now. You're, you're resting now. You're recuperating now. It's been a very, very difficult journey for you, Aquarius. Very difficult thus far. <laughs> Very difficult, but it's over. It's over. That time is over. That stress is over. That chaos is over. It's time to heal. Time to heal. Mend your heart. Yeah, it's been tough. It's been a tough, tough journey. All I keep seeing is that devil and the lovers and the soulmate energy here. It's been tough. It's been and broken contracts, confusion, decisions. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know. Uh, you just went, you just went uh, through something and you are on the other side. You can see the end now. You just saw the exit sign. You just see the release of it all, the letting it go, the transformation of it all, the butterfly effect here. The butterfly effect of all of it was to lead you into this confident knowing who you are, knowing what you deserve here, knowing what you're worthy of here. God, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Page of Cups, you're, de you're declaring yourself to someone here. You're declaring your love. You're coming into a new contract with the Four of Wands. And it's very profitable, very coming together, a meeting of the mind. You're coming, you're coming into this new relationship where you meet each other where you are. You meet each other where you are. It's so beautiful and solid and effortless and completely different from what you've been through. Completely different. <laughs> Let's see what that's all about, Spirit. Tell me about that. Tell me about that. <clears throat> excuse me 
the three again again this is all about threes for you if you see three 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 aquarius stop stop in that moment and see what you're thinking what am i thinking right now look at this with the fool and judgment my god my god aquarius you are jumping in you are taking a leap of faith going all in collaborating working together understanding each other hearing each other not listening to reply listening to understand taking a chance on someone taking a chance on you and thriving now you are thriving now you are soaring now that you take this trust fall you're going to trust the universe you're going to trust your guides you're going to trust yourself because of the decision you made in the past to trust someone else. Now you're learning it was always about me. I was always the answer. I was always the one to trust. This is beautiful. It releases all that fear, all that angst, all that worry of how this is going to work out, that the repetitive thinking, I don't know, I can't see my future here. I can't see how this is going to work out to this clearing, this cleansing of the fear, this knowing of where you're going now and trusting. You're really, really learning to trust again. It's so beautiful, Aquarius. I love it. Take this leap of faith. Take this jump. What was dead is now awakened here. The, the justice call has been made. The judgment call has been made. The verdict has been made here. And there's no going back. There's no looking back. There's no need to. There's no reason to. Only forwards, upwards, and onwards here. Aquarius, there's no other way to go. This is beautiful. This is leading you right to your joy, right to your security, right to your knowing of your worthiness here. The call has been made. The call has been made. Spirit has made that call, that wake-up call uh, to uh, be happy and joyful. And then, and then. <laughs> I love it. All right, Aquarius, I think I will leave it here on the bottom of the deck. Moving on, the Six of Swords, just getting out of there, moving on. I love it. All right, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Aquarius, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you. Sending you so much love and light. And uh, yeah, I'll tune in with you soon.